Hello and welcome to this video which is about the latest free bit of soundware from Steinberg. So this is Taped Vibes. Despite the name, it's not a vibraphone, it's an electric piano. It's quite interesting for what it is. If you need uh, another electric piano with a bit of interest in it, then it's probably for you. It's free. All you need to do to get it is to have a Steinberg account. So you don't need to own Cubase or any other paid product. You can just get it for free. You can see the page on screen. I've left a link in the description. And in addition to that, all you need to do to install it is to get the Steinberg download assistant and then install that as you can see on screen. And then you can activate it in the Steinberg activation manager. If you're having issues with either of those, there's other videos on the channel. I won't cover it in depth here, but this is Tape Vibe. So let's have a look at it in Cubase. So here is Tape Vibes. So straightforward, just to open up Halion Sonic. You have to have Halion Sonic 7, I believe, for this to work, but that's a free product. So it shouldn't be a problem for anybody who's watching this. Uh, this is it. So you can just load it up. Now I've turned off the browser which uh, I'm not a huge fan of, I'll be honest. I think this is a bit clunky compared to how it used to be, but what do I know? You'll find it further down here. So you can click on that. Now these are the presets. So there's not a huge number of presets available. We're just gonna listen to a couple of them. Uh, as I've made abundantly clear, I'm not a keyboard player, but we'll just have a listen to a couple of the sounds which I think are interesting and then we'll move on to just taking a quick look through the controls. This isn't going to be a long video. I just thought I'd bring this to your attention in case you're not on Steinberg's mailing list or you're not constantly refreshing the Steinberg homepage. Yeah, so that's quite a nice that's quite a nice sound. It's a combination of multiple things you can see here. We've got a bit of distortion in here, a bit of vintage modulation, which we'll be looking at a little later, and a bit of reverb, as well as using the preamp sound. But say we'll look at all these controls a bit later on. Let's just take a look at one more preset. So that's Neo Soul Elegance. I quite like that because that's that's pretty different. It's got a bit of glitchiness in there and we'll see the reasons for that in the next section where we're going to be taking a look at the controls of Tape Vibes. So we're just going to take a quick look through the controls here. This isn't going to be an in-depth exposition of everything that's available here, but there's a few things that are quite interesting. And I say, you probably want to have a quick look at all these and I've saved you the trouble. So I've just loaded up Clean DI Vibes, which is as basic a sound as you get on here which is quite nice to have because that's a basis for you doing everything without having to turn everything off so i like the fact that they've provided a fairly basic sound i'm just going to turn off the panel there and then let's get supervision up to see what is actually happening with some of these controls so the biggest change i think you can get to the sound is the sound here so we've got three choices we've got di which is pretty clean, as you would expect. That's a nice basis if you just want a plain sound. Tape is pretty glitchy. It's got this... You may hear... You hear that. So depending on the note, you get different bits of breakup, and I think that's what gave that previous preset its character, the vast majority of it, ironically, even though that's a character section. And then we've got preamp mode, which is different again. So you can hear it's got a bit of grit in there. So there is the pedal noise section here. If I had a pedal, you would hear that, the sound of the pedal going on and off. I haven't got one connected at the moment and uh, my house is in a state of flux. Let's just put it that way. So nothing is available. Uh, never get carpets fitted in three rooms while you're building an extension at the same time. Yes, I'm still building the extension. We've got release level, which... So you can just hear that. When I back off the key, you hear that noise, that classic thing on... 
Whereas if I turn that down, gone. The other option is release envelope length. If I make that longer, so you can get that classic synth kind of programming thing of a longer release. But I think the uh, with this turned on, with the release level, I think that for me gives you a more authentic kind of sound. Let's switch back to DI because we want to hear the sound of these other sections. In the character section, we've got the two effects you'd probably use the most with vibraphone. Vibrato, which is what you generally think of. Tenuous link to vibes. So let's just turn that. Yeah, nearly everybody puts some degree of that on there. We, we can go reasonably extreme or we can go pretty subtle, which is quite nice. And we've also got distortion, which goes, if you look at the waveform here, you'll see what's happening. So as the level goes up, it's really flattening off the tops of those waveforms. So that's the character section, but let's take a look at the three effects which are included. So we've got a delay. Now this is quite nice. There's, this is not just the standard repackaged one we've seen before, because we've got quite a few different options here. Obviously analog, so... Again, best listened to uh, on headphones, or stereo, etc. We can sync it to tempo, etc. Feedback and mix, as you would generally expect. But you've got a few. It's strange that this changes. So let's just put this back to eight. Not sure. Not an enormous difference between the two. That's apparent. But ping pong is quite nice. So if you're listening to this in stereo and I play the right key, you hear that pop in between each ear, dark repeats. Okay, let's put that on at eight. Compared to analog. Yeah, we're getting longer and darker sounds. So that's probably got a bit of filtering in the return. Tape slap. Again, a nice thing to use with this kind of sound. Lo-fi. I think if we turn the feedback up, we'll probably really reveal what's going on there. Yeah, you don't get much out of that, do you? Even with the feedback turned all the way up. Let's turn the mix all the way up and see if we can really find it. Yes, yeah, so you can hear that thinning out as it goes. So again, that's quite a nice effect, a bit different. Go back to sanity here. So we're around somewhere around there. Cross rhythm. Now this, again, this is another one that's quite nice. Let's put it on eight for a straightforward comparison. You can hear that on that, but if I put it on a longer delay, so you're getting something really nice in there. I think a bit of playing around with that rhythmically, that will come up really nicely. Wide ping. Again, pretty interesting with that ping pong effect there. Resonant, that sounds a lot like some of the worst rooms I've ever been in. So we've got some short time, etc. Let's just put it somewhere around there. So again, with that, you could play around with that and get some kind of weird trippy vibes as uh, we used to say in the 90s when I was a child. I wasn't a child then. Uh, and finally, Everlasting. So if we put that in the mix. It's not fully Everlasting, but it's reasonably interesting. So it makes a change to have a nice selection of delays, which isn't just the standard three delays and you're done kind of thing. So that's quite nice. So let's have a look at the modulation section. Now in modulation, we've got, again, eight new options so this isn't just straight out of the standard steinberg here you go there's your filters and you're done thing so so we can hear we've got some combination of chorus flanger and phaser in there and we're heading off into peter satira territory here aren't we not sure i want to go there So I think we've got a combination of these happening here and 
That's quite nice. Let's move away from that. Oh. It's certainly uh, fulfilling the criteria of resonances, so we'll leave that one where it is. Slightly seasick. With that very strong chorus in there. Yeah, again, these are these are the kind of sounds you think this is what I want. So I think some care and attention has been paid in these modulation effects because they're all pretty good starting points. Slowly going away in the background. And yeah, possibly a little too fast. So let's just take a look at a comparison between two sections, because what I'm thinking is what happens if we set this to 50, 50, 50, and then compare it with another one, because I'm wondering if there is... So if you set that to 50, 50, 50, and then let's set vintage to 50, 50, 50, give or take. Yeah, so there are some controls which we don't have access to. So while the modulation is is changing, so you get your sort of basic things here and then you can pick how much of each one you've got in there. So a bit of experimentation is definitely going to be worthwhile there. And this is quite interesting because, again, I think it's been well selected. It's not just your generic, there you go, have some effects and you're done. These seem to be picked to work well with the vibes, which is quite nice. Finally, let's take a look at the reverb. So here's your reverb. We've got small room. And a few other options here. I'm not going to go through all of them. They all pretty much do what you'd expect. What I quite like here, where you, you've got a balance control between the early reflections and the tail of the reverb. So if you want those early reflections, you can get that. hear that difference or you can move towards the tail so there we're only getting the tail and not the early reflections and everywhere in between pretty nice really uh these these to me are slightly less inspiring than the others they're they're okay they're the kind of thing that's useful to save with your useful to save with a preset but it's probably not a reverb you would want to have separately so it's as ever with these kind of included effects it's useful to be able to save them with a preset you load it up you haven't got to set up a whole chain etc so in terms of assignments the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed there are no quick controls preset which is unusual for a steinberg instrument typically when you would load one of these up straight out of the box these quick controls would be set to something you would see them along the bottom of the window here and they would be ready to go. But you can set them, so whatever you want to set them to is simply a case of two-finger tapping or right-clicking. You can either learn a MIDI controller, so if you want to do that, or you can assign a quick control. So let's assign that to QC1, and then we're in business. So if we load up some of the other sounds, you will see that certainly none of them that I've noticed have the quick control set but you can easily set them but i that's a surprising oversight for a steinberg sound but there we go yeah so it's straightforward you can just right click assign quick controls you can set their types etc so it's it's pretty straightforward and easy to do that so if you want to do any controlling particularly if you're using the midi control framework in cubase 12 and onwards then the easiest way to do it is to just assign quick controls because then your controller, particularly if it's recognized by Cubase, is probably already set to do quick controls. So for instance, mine is set up to do that. So knob number one on the MPK is, is that, and it's already set to do quick control one. So I'm at the races. I don't need to worry about MIDI controllers and this, that, and the other. But if you want to do that, you can do it that way. You can do it via MIDI controllers, etc. So pretty straightforward. Final thing, let's just look at the automation targets which this makes available. So by default, this doesn't seem to set anything up. 
uh, specific in here. So we're just getting all the defaults in there. So in fact, if we load up something else, we will probably see that if we load up a different synth totally, so for instance, if we load up something from Anima, we get those quick controls in there, but also if we go to slot one there, we're seeing that those have already been pre-assigned, et cetera. So because of that lack of assignment in there, we're not getting those appearing in here. So you'd probably want to set them up either as quick controls or as automation. So if we go back to take vibes here, you can set these up as an automation. So let's say we wanted to automate distortion. We just do assign to new automation. And now when we go here, we can see under automation it appears. So you get the, the name of it, take vibes, then a dot, and then whatever you've, you've done. So I think you've got 256. No, I stand corrected. There's 512. So you've got 512 possibilities there. There's there's more controls than that. So obviously, if you're using multiple different synths, this, that, and the other, you can do that. But this this is the way you would want to do that if you want to access that easily via a name. So at least there you see what it is, although it's called it Halley and Sonic there. But then you can just automate this as normal. So it's it's slightly clunkier than you'd expect, possibly because of the lack of default assignment of quick controls, but there we go. If you do them, people go, well, I don't want them like that. And if you don't do them, then people say, I do want them like that. So I guess in a way you can't win, but I'm a little surprised they've not been done. So there you go. That's a quick look at Tape Vibes, which is currently free. Now, the pattern with most of these things is they are free for a while and then they're not free. So when I was looking at the product page for this, I noticed that below here, when we get to the bottom, some of the things which have been free before, which I think Verve and Amped Electra, they are not free anymore. So if I were you, even if you're not interested in it at the moment, I'd get it while you can because in the future you might have to pay for it. So grab it while you get the chance, while it's free. I don't know how long it's free for. Uh, they're always a bit cards close to the chest in terms of that kind of thing, but grab it while you can. Even if you're not going to use it, it's nice to have it there because one day... You know, some guy's going to phone you up and go, you know what I need, man? I need some sort of wacky electric piano vibe. And you'll go, I've got just the thing. Anyway, as ever, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, please comment, like, and possibly even subscribe. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.